Last time we ended by thinking about the air vent and we made this cardboard mock-up, but we decided that this time before we implemented that we ought to make sure that the airflow was going to be sufficient for the burner. So instead we made this hole in the side of the stove and decided to do a test burn. Now when you dare, you want to shut that door or do you want to leave it out? I was going to let, leave it. Yeah, let the wood absolutely catch. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Let the reavailable <laughs> orifice, of which there are many. <laughs> Now this was the point where we started to be concerned. As soon as that door is shut, the fire dies down very dramatically. Um, and the thinking was that perhaps there was insufficient um, area f in the flue hole, uh, sorry, in the vent hole, to allow enough oxygen in to sustain the fire. Anyway, after the test burned, the paint had all burned off, so we just cleaned that up and setting aside at least for a while the fears about the uh, lack of vigour in the fire we moved on to start work on the secondary burner. So let me go through the idea of a, a secondary burner or a secondary combustor. Wood burning stoves are essentially a vessel with a flue and there's usually a baffle which encourages any hot air or gases to have to go round it before they leave up the flue thereby minimising the loss of heat, allowing more heat to be transferred from the hot gases to the walls of the stove and therefore out into the, um, the space which is being heated. Fuel is placed in the combustion chamber, obviously, and is set fire to. And then, so there may be a, a flame situation going on down here. But an important thing to note is that um, heat is imparted to these higher pieces of wood, which is sufficient to release the gases from the wood, wood gas, but not necessarily sufficient to set fire to them. What this means is that gases become mobile and disappear out the flue and they're combustible. They would burn if they were set fire to, but they've not been set fire to because the flames are down here. So pollution comes out the, the flue and gas is wasted, um, and, uh, inflammable gas that is, is wasted. So the idea behind a secondary combustor I'll just take the baffle out for a moment because it just complicates things, is that you introduce high up in the stove or the burner a source of very hot air from the outside. So air comes in here, is heated by some process and that very hot air um, exits the, uh, the holes in the, in the secondary combustor and sets fire to the flue gases which would otherwise escape up the, up the flue. And what that means is the fire burns about twice as efficiently and um, that's, you get twice as much heat for the same amount of fuel and pollution is minimised. So there's almost no smoke and furthermore there's very little ash when the stove is finished so good thing all round. How do we implement that? Well we've decided to implement it with a, a U-shaped um, conduit like this. Um, this is in, in, in actual fact a box section so looks a bit like this. Now this end is blanked off. Um, this end is open so air comes in here, passes, this is situated just under the baffle over here so it's in the hottest part of the burner the air is hopefully heated as it comes around the U and then is allowed to exit the combustor through some 4mm holes drilled in the, this side and also this side here. Um, that's the basic idea um, and that's what we implemented for our stove. The job here is done then. We made this uh, nifty little jig so we could cut the box section conduit at uh, diagonals. The box sections were then drilled, a uh, blanking plate was fitted and the secondary burner completed.
As usual, the grinder steps in uh, where atrocious welding skills leave off. The finished burner looks pretty good though. Next we had to locate, mark out, drill and cut the hole which would allow the secondary burner to enter the combustor chamber. As you can see that fits, it's not quite right, some, some tweaking uh, was required, but basically job done. Well I do hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, any questions, comments, uh, suggestions you have are always really welcome. Thanks ever so much for watching, hope to see you next time.